What's up, guys? I'm Christopher Collier here with Tech Droid today again. Tech Droid today again, and we're gonna see how this Acer Aspire One that originally came preloaded with Windows XP performs in 2018. This is March of 2018, so let's get into the video. As I mentioned, this is my Acer Aspire One. Intel Atom processor, one and a half gigabytes of RAM. It is series the series ZG5. I have it. Uh, pa will be powered up here very shortly. But uh, on the side here, let's take a quick look over the ports. We have a power input VGA, 10100 Ethernet, USB 2 SD card, reader, microphone headphone jack, USB 2, USB 2, and another um, SD card reader. This SD card reader also has mo more other, more functions than the original one. Let me get a light going here for you. Maybe it'll help out a little bit. There. Light a little bit. Maybe or maybe not. But let's turn on the scene. Um, this machine is running Tiny Windows 7. So let's uh, boot her up here. This does have a um, spinning mechanical hard drive in it. So. Tiny Windows 7, surprisingly, doesn't boot up all too bad on this machine. It boots up quite quickly. Already got a mouse. It says Windows 7 Ultimate, but it is a cut-down version of Windows 7. Go in here for you. Windows is not activated because... I only have a Windows XP product here on this. Yeah, 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 okay. And we are booted up. It's updating Steam right now because I do have Steam on this machine. And I have Half-Life on it. This machine actually runs Half-Life all not too bad. And I have Vex Robotics up because I used it for our Vex Robotics for a short period of time. Now let me just change the wallpaper. Real quick here. You know, I just, who cares? Yeah, we'll sign into that a bit later. Um, let's, mainly all I use this machine for is I throw it in my bag and I use it to type up documents, which works quite well using the built in uh, documents. That's my files. It's called WorldPad in Windows 7, I keep forgetting. If I cannot find it, let me try and find it here for you. This is a very cut down version of Windows, so it may or may not have it on here. Yeah, I don't have it on here. But I do use it on my Google Docs, which is like one of the big reasons I like to use this computer is because I can load up Google Docs perfectly fine and run it. Sorry for the shakiness there. I'm sorry. Firefox takes a bit to open up. It's very noisy. You can probably hear it. Um takes a long time to load up simple websites like this, just like the home page. Let's try going to Google Docs. Oh, well. Okay, I did search up Google Docs. I can see up here. It takes quite a while to load. Here we go. Google Docs. Right there. I'm going to sign into this real quick, so I'm going to take it on away.
Still loading up, guys. I'm sorry. And we're in the Google Docs. Let's see how well we can do simple stuff like type up a text document here. Me back up there. And there we go. So we're just gonna open up a new document. See how well this will load up and everything. It seems to be loading up decently fast for a machine with just an old Intel Atom processor and 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. This is actually quite respectable, but we're not quite there yet. Still taking its own sweet time, that's for sure. Machine's heating up now. It's definitely pumping out some air. Um, that fan inside here is definitely spinning rapidly. That's a big complaint about these machines. The um, fans spin really loud, and they're not great for a notebook. Battery life on this machine, I figure I'll say that out real quick. 55 minutes left remaining at 93%, and I only just turned it on off the charger. It is up there. So that's not all too great, but, I mean, just typing up simple text document. This doesn't work too great through the web browser. It's definitely delayed. Hello YouTube, simple phrase. The keyboard on this feels really good. For having smaller keys, and I have pretty good sized fingers, it definitely feels amazing to type on. I don't know why, but I love the feel of this keyboard. Um, as always, we'll do, you got the normal phrase, hello YouTube, just bold, italicize, underline, I mean it works if you're doing online document editing like this, and you can change the editing document, you know, we all know how Google Docs works, and it runs this out on this machine decently, it definitely ain't performance, but let's uh, open up another tab here, it's out of Google Docs. And we'll try going to YouTube, see how this does in YouTube. I n already know for a fact that it is not great, but we can always give it a shot. I'm just trying to load up here. <laughs> so we're in my channel so let's go ahead my channel surprisingly it's playing the advertisement perfectly fine it never seems to do that it is not wanting to load up my channel though yeah um, yeah wait because I know it's this web page yeah I, th I think it's not responding now <laughs> Oh, I, sh I shouldn't have done that. It was it was loading up that pretty good. Oh, there we go. Typed right today. Got the channel loaded up. Let's watch one of my videos here. I got meteorologist Thomas the Train. I do not know why I posted this video, but... Hmm, fan just kicked up. Get some tunes. Yeah, it's definitely taking its own sweet time, that is for sure. Oh yeah, it's glitchy, alright. It is definitely glitching. Oh, well, ain't too bad right now. It's actually cranking pretty good. What are we looking at settings-wise? I'm guessing 144p. 360. Well darn, if we lower this down to like 240p, I bet you would probably be pretty good. I've never had this good of luck with YouTube on this machine. Hmm. I'm actually quite surprised here because this machine never was able to watch YouTube decently and it definitely isn't decent, but it's doing it pretty well. I'm kind of surprised. This is a video I posted not too long ago. Thomas the Train, probably going to get copyright infringement from it, but surprisingly it's doing that. I mean, if we try opening up any other tabs, it's going to be 100% impossible, but... So let's try loading up a taxing site. CNN.com is a pretty taxing site. I like to use that just to see how long it takes to load and 
it is definitely taking its own sweet time with this website. You guys there, so you can see the launch up. And I'm not saying I like CNN at all. I'm just using CNN to use CNN. It's a very taxing website. There's a lot of different advertisements on there. There's a lot of pictures, a lot of text. It's just a good website to use to test. And this looks like we're loaded up. So uh, scrolling isn't too bad. The advertisements aren't really wanting to load up. But it definitely ain't too shabby. Um, that's why I use this machine on the go. I just throw it in my bag. It's decently light powering. I mean, it doesn't get much power. But if I'm only going to do 30, 40 minutes of work, I can definitely throw this in the bag and just use it. Um, obviously, that will change. This computer is not going to be getting used all too much. Once the MacBook comes in. And wait a second, you're saying MacBook? Yep, that was in the update. If you did not watch that, there will be a link in the description. Okay, there will be right up there. There will be a little card for that. There will be a link in the description. There will be a little card to that video. Yes, I'm getting a two, late 2009 MacBook to replace this machine. It's going to be running iOS High Sierra, and we're going to be doing upgrades to it. I got an SSD coming in, and I got 6 gigabytes of RAM we're going to put in it. That's a big video. It's going to be coming out. Um, another update video that came out last night. We have the HP. I think I've made up my mind on what's going to be happening with this machine. It's going to get stayed here on the test bench so I can look stuff up. I've got another couple of mice coming in in the mail. So I think that's where that machine's going to stay. And this machine's just going to be doing as a backup laptop. It probably won't even get used once a month once the MacBook comes in. And, um, so, yeah. Let's set you back down up here. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much all that's going to be going on. Just a quick little update. I like to do that in my videos, as you know. So, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Is this machine still usable in 2018? <sighs> I... I guess it is. I mean, I have the most cut down version of Windows ever on this machine. I mean, some programs don't even launch on this machine because of how cut down it is and how it's missing a lot of the program files. It's just not as great of a thing. So, it does work. It does get the job done if you, especially like me, if you're just going to type up some quick documents it, if I had world pad on here which I will hopefully soon get it ain't too bad plus the keyboard feels really nice I love the feel of the keyboard um, webcam let's uh, actually do a webcam test real quick on it that's what we got for a webcam okay let's look up webcam test on Google and there is a one link I do know of where you can just test your webcam. You have to allow your webcam to be used, and it works. Um, okay, webcam test. Okay, we have to hit allow. For the webcam. There we go. Allow. Okay, the webcam ain't too shabby on it. It definitely is not great. I mean, if you had to do a quick Skype call, I mean, yeah, it's definitely not great. But if you had to do something real quick, it would definitely get the job done. Um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned. There will be a video almost every day on the channel now, which is awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you on the next one.